Hot on the heels of another deadly Tesla crash, Consumer Reports showed on Thursday that it's simple to game the automaker's system of ensuring there's a driver in the driver's seat. The test and video show no one actually needs to be behind the wheel for autopilot to run. According to the initial investigation of the latest crash in Texas, neither of the two victims killed in a Tesla Model S were actually driving the car. While we wait for more details from local and federal investigators, Consumer Reports test highlights how easy it is to confuse Tesla's autopilot system. First, Jake Fisher, Consumer Reports Senior Director of Auto Testing, engages autopilot and bumps the speed down to zero. This does not disengage the system. And while the car stopped, he attaches a weight to the steering wheel, with the weight used to mimic a driver's hand on the wheel. Fisher scoots out of the driver's seat, leaves the seatbelt buckled in place, and moves to the passenger seat. From there, he increases the speed and autopilot begins maneuvering and following the lines on the closed test course. Just like that, the car thinks a person remains behind the wheel. Autopilot does not use a camera or anything else to ensure a driver must be present and paying attention to the road ahead, which systems from General Motors, Ford, and others do. The system not only failed to make sure a driver was paying attention, but it also couldn't tell if there was a driver there at all, Fisher said. Tesla is falling behind other automakers like GM and Ford that, on models with advanced driver assist systems, use technology to make sure the driver is looking at the road. Following the crash and considerable interest from federal government, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted that early data logs showed the car did not have autopilot engaged and was not equipped with the full self-driving mode beta. Consumer Report notes autopilot is still capable of many mistakes, just like any other driver assist system sold with cars. And when it makes a mistake, it can shut off abruptly, potentially leading to a crash if the driver is not paying attention and ready to retake full control of the car. Musk only comments since Consumer Reports published its findings was to say, does seem a little weird, in a response to a Tesla owner's assertion that the media was really ramping up attacks against Tesla.